When it comes to box jumps, it's all about the landings. Athletes want to make sure that they select a box that allows them to move explosively, yet land in a similar position that they're in on takeoff, where the hips are positioned above the level of the knees. For the inverted row, athletes should position themselves beneath the bar with their feet placed up on a bench or step. Here, keeping the body straight, the objective is to pull up towards the bar by using the muscles of the upper back with an assist from the arms. Emphasize pinching the shoulder blades together and down as you pull the chest up towards the bar. For Russian twists, athletes should make sure to select a medicine ball that allows them to move in a smooth, fluid manner as they rotate their torso while keeping the feet up off the ground, engaging the core. For lateral band walks, place a mini band around the ankles and making sure to keep the shoulders, hips, knees, and feet pointing straight ahead. Work the lateral glutes by stepping out and creating tension against the band. Much like the box jump, plyometric push-ups should emphasize soft landings. That's why I selected a bench here for demonstration purposes, but these can also be done off the floor as well. For barbell back squats, athletes should strive to maintain an upright torso as they sit back into the hips and focus on trying to rip the floor apart so that the knees don't pinch together. Maintain a nice rigid torso by inhaling on the way down, pausing for a second at the bottom, and then exhaling as you stand up and through to finish off the top of the squat. For the hanging leg raise, athletes should begin by positioning themselves hanging from a chinning bar and then work to lift the legs up towards the chest as they do folding the body in half. The emphasis here should be on rounding the lower part of the spine so that the thighs fold onto the chest. Finally, for the band pull apart, athletes will stand in an athletic stance with their arms almost completely straight as they focus on pinching the shoulder blades together and down to target the muscles of the upper back. These can be formed either with a palms down version, as we saw in the first clip, or with a palms up grip that will help to increase the emphasis on external rotation.